These five school threats have been called into local school districts this week alone. It has many people asking, what could be done to stop these threats? WBRE 28, WYOU 22, Eyewitness News I team reporter Andy Mahalshik went looking for answers. And Andy, what have you learned? Well, we found some tough answers. Now, area prosecutors tell me people who make threats against school districts like Wilkesbury can face, indeed, hard jail time. And they also say that they're putting out the word tight, a warning, if you will, if you make a threat and you're arrested, you will face the consequences. We treat every threat as if it's going to be a reality. Luzerne County District Attorney Sam Sangladochi says investigators are laser focused on any threats directed at area schools. Number one, and we take all threats seriously. You look at the uh, sh school shooting in Michigan, um, Ethan Crumbly, that was a case where they, they had signs that this might occur and didn't really take it seriously, let him return to class, and, and you know, saw the, the travesty that happened out there. Sangadochi says threat makers could face serious penalties. Potential charges include making terroristic threats, a second degree misdemeanor. You're facing up to two years in jail depending on the charges. Um, it could even be uh, more than that because, the, you know, if we get multiple charges, you could face consecutive sentences. Um, and that, that even goes for juvenile cases. You know, they can be, you know, put in detention. Uh, it ruins the rest of your life, essentially. This is, uh, this is on your records. Hazelton Area School District Superintendent Dr. Brian Uplinger tells the I team they move quickly as soon as they even catch a hint, a rumor of a threat. Yeah, definitely case by case, threat by threat. Uh, the situations that, that come to our attention, we have to really weigh them out. Um, we have to, to know if they are directed specifically to a, uh, an area, a building, a location, things of that nature. Parents say threats, even those determined to be non credible, upset everyone involved. Our kids need school, they need interaction, but they also need education, the right education, but also to be able to feel safe. That's priority one. And Sang Udochi says if convicted of making a threat, you may have to pay fines and possibly even financial restitution to the school district for any cost incurred because of that threat. Now,